Hey everybody, student dentist Gibby. My name is Jared. This is part two of my DAT series. Today I'm going to talk about when is the best time to take the DAT. Okay, so when is the best time to take the DAT? You know, do we take it our first year of college, during, or after we graduate, before dental school? When's the best time? So today I'm going to kind of talk about a general timeline for your undergrad. So this is going to be more for traditional applicants. All right, I was a traditional applicant, and generally most people are. So your first year, actually your first and second years of college, you're going to want to be doing a lot of volunteering and your shadowing. Um, and also during those first two years, you're going to want to take prerequisite courses for the DAT itself. Those courses being your general chemistries, your organic chemistries, um, a biology class, general biology, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. So just generals. And it's not required, but highly recommended physiology. Um, you don't have to take genetics. A lot of people say you need to take genetics, but don't worry about genetics. It's really, genetics is really basic on the DAT. So Gen Chem, O Chem, and Bio, if you take those, that covers the subjects that are on the DAT itself. <clears throat> so the third year, the third year is when everything gets kind of intense. Start of your third year, you want to keep on doing volunteering and shadowing, but during the fall and the winter, um, a lot of people start taking a prep course or they start their studying for the exam itself. Um, and when you get to the end of the third year, um, this is when you take the actual DAT itself. So you take it between the third and be between the third and the fourth year of your undergrad. You take the DAT. Application, the application opens June 1st. So I would highly recommend taking the DAT prior to June 1st if you're, if you're able. However, you can take the DAT anytime during the summer and submit your application, but it's better to do it earlier so you can get your application in as soon as possible. It's called rolling admissions. I'll probably talk about that later in a different video. <clears throat> so after you take the DAT in the summer, you apply June 1st. And then basically the rest of the summer you're filling out secondaries um, up until fall, which is when interviews start coming in. So you get your interview invites, and then during your fourth year of your undergrad, you're flying out all over, at least hopefully you are, right? <laughs> flying everywhere, going on interviews. And then December 1st is acceptance day. Yeah! <laughs> so that's kind of an exciting slash nerve-wracking day. So... Um, December 1st is when people find out if they've been accepted or not or waitlisted or whatever. And then pretty much the rest of your fourth year, you kind of just relax, take it easy, enjoy the rest of your undergrad, have fun, whatever. And then you start dental school that next fall. So that's pretty much the general timeline for your undergrad. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. So take the DAT between your third and fourth year prior to application day June 1st. Thank you so much guys for watching and stay tuned for part three where I talk about DAT prep courses and study materials for the actual test. Thanks guys. See you later. Bye. Yep.